Hi dears. Welcome to everyone. I am discussing about the most important topic of botany that is called the inflorescence today. So what is inflorescence? We will discuss here. Inflorescence is the arrangement of flowers on floral axis is termed as inflorescence. Inflorescence means arrangement of flowers on floral axis that is called inflorescence. These arrangement of flowers, these flowers are drawn in groups or singly. Flower that occur singly is termed as solitary. These solitary flower may be terminal or axillary. The terminal flower are those that grow at the tip of the main stem or branch. Example is poppy plant. Whereas the axillary flower are those that are situated at the axil of leaf. Example is nostartium. The inflorescence may be terminal or lateral. Terminal inflorescence is that in which vegetative axis is continued into the main axis of the inflorescence. Whereas lateral inflorescence is that which arises from the apex. These lateral inflorescence may be branched or unbranched. Example of lateral inflorescence is sweet pea. Pedancle. The main axis of inflorescence is called pedancle. Types of inflorescence. There are four major types of inflorescence that is called simple inflorescence, uh, compound inflorescence, mixed inflorescence, and special type of inflorescence. Simple inflorescence, in which main axis may be racemose or cymose. These simple inflorescences are racemose type or cymose type. First of all, we discuss about the racemose type inflorescence. In racemose type inflorescence, the main axis continues its growth until the last flower is formed at its apex. Keep in mind the flower is formed at its apex until the last flower is formed at its apex. Flower develop in acropatical succession. Acropatal succession means the oldest flowers are towards the base of the inflorescence and the youngest ones towards the apex. In racemose inflorescence, main axis sometimes form flattened compressed disc bears cluster of flowers centripetally. Centripetally means the disc contains the flowers in which oldest flowers towards the periphery and youngest ones towards the center. Here is the diagram that show the inflorescence of racemose type. In racemose type, main axis continues its growth until the lost flower is formed at its apex. So now we discussed about cymose inflorescence, in which main axis soon ends in flower. Main axis soon ends in flower. Flower develops in bicipital succession. Bicipital succession means the terminal flower is the oldest and the lateral ones are younger. One, two or more lateral branches 
develop below the terminal flowers, each ending in flower and produce daughter active. Flowers usually form clusters centrifugally. Centrifugal means the youngest flowers are towards the periphery and older ones are towards the center. Classification of racemose in fluorescence based on the development of main axis and pedicel of flowers. Main axis long. In case of main axis long, simple raceme. In simple raceme, main axis elongated, flowers are pedicellate. Pedicel of the flower is of the same size. Example, lark spur. Corem. The main axis is comparatively short in corem. Flowers are pedicellate. Older pedicels are longer than those of the young one, so that all flowers lie at same level. Example, candida. Corembose racemose. In corembose racemose, crumbles in flowering stage and later become simple raceme due to elongation of axis. It means that at the first stage they are crumbles, while at later stage they become racemose. Example, brassica. Spike. Main axis elongated bearing sessile flowers. In spike, main axis bearing sessile flowers, example verbena and bottle grass. Spikelet, small dry spikes, one or few sessile flowers surrounded by special bracts at the base called gleum, example grasses, including beet and oat. Catkin, pendulous spike with pendulous axis, bearing unisexual flowers. Example, mulberry and popular. Paddix. Branch or unbranched, thick and fleshy spike. Enclosed in one or more bags called pads. Found only in monocots. Example, banana and palm. Main axis short and flattened. Before that, we have discussed about the main axis long. No. We discuss here the main axis short and flattened. The first one case is simple umbel. Main axis is shortened in umbel. Internodes between successive flower become suppressed. All the pedicellate flower arise from the tip of main axis at one level and older ones towards the periphery. Example Ambulifery family. Capitulum. Main axis is reduced to flat or concave or convex disc called the receptacle. Flowers are small and called florids. Whole inflorescence look like a single flower. Example, asteraceae, including sunflower. Hypanthodium. Receptacle grows upward along its margins, forms a hollow pear-shaped structure with apical openings guarded by scales. Unisexual flowers develop on the inner surface of hollow receptacle. Male flower near the apex, female occupy the rest of the surface. These are the characteristics that are found in hypanthodium in fluorescence. Example, pig, banyan and people. Cymose in fluorescence. These may be unipirus, bipirus and multipirus. In case of unipirus, the main axis ends in flower, below which daughter axis is produced, which again ends in flower. This is repeated for many times. Two types, scorpite and helicoid. In scorpoid, daughter axis develop in zigzag manner. Example, Frisia. Helicoid, successive daughter axis in spoil. Example, begonia. This is a unipyrus sign that shows corpoid sign and this is a helicoid sign. Bipyrus sign. Main axis and in flower and produce two daughter axis. Repeated again and again. Example, Ipomia and Stellaria. Multipyrus sign. 
main axis ends in plur and produce a whirl of three or more daughter axis. Example U for beer. These are the different types that are shown in this diagram. You can easily see the difference here. Plurs are arranged in groups or clusters. Scorpoid sign. Daughter axis reduced. Plurs are almost a size. Young plurs are either towards the periphery or scattered. Example Acacia or Albizia. These are found in the type of Cymose hat. These are the characters that are found in Cymose hat. An example is Acacia and Albizia. Compound inflorescence. Main axis of the inflorescence is branch. Branches bear flower as on main axis. Types compound racim, compound spike, compound amble, compound coramp, and compound capitulum. Compound racim. Several simple racim born on racimose fashion on the main axis. Example delphinium. Compound spike. Main Axis of the inflorescence bear small lateral spike instead of sessile flower. Example wheat and barley. Compound umbel. A number of umbels born in an umbellate manner. Example coriander and carrot. Coram. Compound coram. Main axis is branched in corambose manner. Example cauliflower. Compound capitulum. Secondary capitulum consists of single flower surrounded by Involucular bracts present at the base of the flower. Involucular is a bracts present at the base of flower. Example, Veronica. Special type of inflorescence. These are called special because this, there is a difficult to make out a real mode of branching. Example, Cyathium, Verticillester, verti and Amblade, Cymose, Head, or Scabby, Jurus. Cyathium. Axes are extremely reduced. Parient leaves are comparatively suppressed. Tricarpally thin carpal pistil born on long stalk. Each male flower consists of single stamen. Example is found in Euphorbia plants. Verticillester. The bracts in floral region are opposite cluster of sessile or subsessile flowers in its axis. The two clusters at the node appear to form a whorl called a verticillester, first biparous, biparous and later become uniparous. Example, mint and osimum. Scapi gyrus. Long leaf, less stalk, arise in the midst of the radical leaf, bears at its upper end cluster of flowers. It means that it bears at its upper end cluster of flowers. Appear to form an umbel, example onion and garlic. Thank you very much. Subscribe my channel for further videos. Thank you very much.